Okay, so let's try some examples for normal distribution. Let's go example one for normal distribution. Let's say you're given that, oh, this one is easy. <coughs> okay, let's say you already been given the Z values. What can you read from here? This is the mean. This is the variance. But, but for this one, you don't have to calculate the x and z anymore because it's already in z form. They just want to check whether you can use the graph correctly. So this one, we are taking our A as positive A, 2.5. Where is it on the graph? Okay, imagine them. The right side directly, sir. Here is zero, right? Where is zero on this graph? Where's the mean? In the middle. So 2.5. More than... So how do we read this one? Straight from the table. How do you read from the table? Well, make sure you firstly you open the correct table. Standard normal distribution, where this is the value of z. The z here, you got 2.5. Don't open it, <laughs> the wrong one. 0 0.0621. Don't open the wrong table. 0 0.00621. Sorry, I speak them wrongly. Okay, now, on your own, can you try for this one first? P is at more than 0 0.6. Sorry, negative 0 0.6. On your own, give them a try. Negative 2.23, Z, negative 1.23. Oh, we got symmetrical ones. Modulus more than 1.2. Uh, just, a li just to tell you something, this is more, the one that we did, for example, just now is was less. Try to figure it out. Okay? Okay, viewers, yeah, well, my students are trying. Yeah, you should try first. Let's try and debate the answers. Okay, for this one here. Alright, for this one here. Firstly, try to figure out where is it on the graph. I know this is negative. So somewhere around here. And Z is more than this negative. More, that means it's over here. But I cannot read it directly. I need to flip it around. Now I'm minusing this part. So it will be 1 minus P Z more than 0 0.6. And if you read from the table, make sure it's normal. 0 0.6 is 0 0.2743 minus from that one.
0.7257 Alright, so for this one here, how do I do them? Firstly, I try to figure them out from the graph I see that both of them are negative Negative 2.23 Negative 1.23 And I know that I want to calculate this part And since both of them are negative, what do I do? I flip it up Take the nearest one here, so the near, near here 1.23 Minus, eh sorry, not yet 2.23 And I want to calculate this area So in my mind, how do I do? I do negative, uh, I do the 1.23 Minus this part here, minus this one here. So, P Z more than one point two three minus P Z more than two point two three. Okay, one point two three. That's the first one in the graph. One point two three. 0 0.1093 point two then 3 up here, okay? one03 minus 2.23 2.23 0.1093 I think I got this one wrong. 1.23, I think I copied them wrongly. 0 0.1, sorry about that. 0 0.1093. So 0 0.09, 0 0.1093 minus 0 0.0129. What do you get? 0 0.0964. Got that one. Okay, uh, hopefully not too fast. Right, this one might be a, a little bit of troubles. Well, firstly, try to solve the one in the in the bracket first. So Z more than one point two. Less is more, uh, sorry, more is all. So is that more than 1.2 or Z less than 1.2, negative 1.2. So if you try to read it from the graph, it will be something like this. More than 1.2 is over here. Less than negative 1.2 will be this side here. Now, how do we calculate that? Maybe we should translate once the correct one first. Well, there's no easy way. <laughs> kind of revealing the answers as well. Okay, so I want to calculate this part plus this part. Are you okay with it? This part plus this part, I can get the answers. I can do one minus, but do you think the plus is faster? But what do I know about them? They are symmetrical. No, I don't have to do one minus this time. Because if one minus, I want to calculate here. I want to calculate this one here. So simply, P Z more than 1.2. I got here, right? And I want here as well. And I know they are symmetrical. Times 2. 
and I can get the answers. And 1.2 will be? Zero point one one five one zero point two three zero two calculating from left to right. All right. Yeah, I wish I have a bit more time. I'll do this one. Example 3. Where we're given that the mean is 10. The standard deviation is 2. Find Px more than 13. And P9x 13. Okay, sorry, I'm going to go a bit fast because we're running out of time. All right, so from here, I can translate that x as our binomial. The mean is 10. What should I write out over this x? Is it 2? It's 4. Why 4? We are in squared. Or if you do not want to write down 4, and sometimes I kind of prefer 2 squared just to remind you, hey, I want standard division in the end, not variance. Alright, so let's try the first one. Let's call this one A, that's one B. So for this one here, remember the formula is for Z minus, yeah, equals to X minus mean over standard division. That will be the formula. So your X right now is 13 minus mean, mean is 10 over what? 2 or 4. 2, 3 over 2, 1.5, is half, at 1.5, not half, 1 half, and if I look at the graph, 1.5 is here, and I want what, x more than 13, so it will be here, p, z, more than 1.5, more than 1.5 is this part. So read it from the table, you can get the answers directly. 0 0.0668. Are you okay? Sorry, that, wasn't, that one was a bit fast. And to close it off, what about this one here? P, well, firstly, you need to change it up. So 9 minus 10 over 2, find the z, 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5. And the other one for 13 minus 10 over 2. If you have difficulty, your, your z looks like 2, put the dash in the middle. 3 over 2, 1.5. So 9 less than, I can write this one into P, take this one first, negative 0 0.5, Z, 1.5. And how do we continue? Left side is negative, right side is positive. So this one. I want to calculate around this area. How do I do? I'm minusing on this one here. Okay, this part is easy for you to calculate. Sorry, I really, really run out of time. In my mind, it's this way. 1.5 minus this part. Negative 0 0.5. Okay, this one is easy for you to solve first. 
this one just simply if is at more than 1.5 read it from the table you can solve it what about this one this is negative side so I need to flip it around Zero point five, so I need to minus this part here. So one minus P Z more than zero point five. You do this one here, you get the blue part, and then you minus this one here. Okay, sorry, if I need to rush out before we end. Then it will simply be 1 minus 0 0.3085 minus 0 0.0668, which gives you the answers of 0 0.6247. All right, I think that's enough for basics right now. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Viewers, done.